Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Are you a UI UX designer struggling to come up with a good system for your dashboard design? This is the right video for you. So the first thing we're going to be covering, we're going to be covering a grid system for a dashboard. I just have a small sidebar, something like this. We'll also cover a grid system for a dashboard that has two sidebar. As you can see, it is something like this. As you can see, this dashboard has two sidebar. We'll also cover a dashboard that has just one sidebar. A typical example is something like this. So we'll be coming up with a grid for these three scenarios. So let's dive into the video guys. So the first thing I'm going to do is to draw a frame. So this is just basically a 1440 frame, the normal desktop size um, frame. So that's basically what I'm using. So I'm also going to draw a rectangle, which um, signifies our sidebar. So this rectangle has a size of eight. So I'm basically using numbers that are divisible by eight for both my spacing and the size of my element. So I'm also going to define the spacing between the sidebar and my content area. So let me take, for example, this place is going to be the place where my main content area of the dashboard is going to be. The spacing between the sidebar and this content area has to be defined. Even the spacing over here also have to be defined. So for the sake of this tutorial, I'm giving, making this spacing 80. So let me delete this place. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to put in my column grid, create my column grid rather. So I'm going to give this a 12. I'm also going to give it a quarter of 24. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to make this left. I'm not going to use straight. I'm making this left. So when this is left, I'm also, it's also going to give me an opportunity for me to set my offset. So for you to get your offset is the size of this spacing here which is 80 plus the width of this and um, particular sidebar so that means it's 80 plus 80 let's use our calculator to know the exact um, number so 80 plus 80 is going to give us 160 so that's going to be our offset so that's basically how to get your offset so this i'm just going to put 160 here at my offset so i'm going to select this place as you can see my width is eight but i want it to lap with this red square so i'm going to select this and i'm going to use my arrow key or my keyboard to increase it my top arrow key so i'm increasing it so i'm going to increase it until it laps on this red square so as you can see my width here is um, 78 and 78 is also divisible by eight as you can see, let me try 78 divided by 8 is divisible by 8. So as you can see, we have gotten our grid or um, our dashboard that has um, a small sidebar like this. So with this now, we can place our content anyhow we want it to be depending on the project need. So I can decide to place my content like this. I can decide to put a, a big um, chart like this. So it's basically your choice on how to do that. So this is how to create um, a grid for a dashboard that has one sidebar. So the next one we're going to create is for a dashboard that has two sidebar. So I'm going to um, create my, my frame, my 1440 frame. So I'm basically going to copy what I already have here. So I'll just drag this. So this um, sidebar here is 200 and 208 so it's also divisible by 8 so i will just duplicate it over here so for this i want my spacing to be 32 so the spacing between my um, sidebar here and my content area so i want the spacing to be 32 so let me um, define my spacing here so you might be wondering why i'm always using red square to um, define my spacing so in my previous video, I talked about how to um, create consistent spacing using the red square method. So I'll be putting the link to that video in the description box for you to know the meaning of red square method so that you can be able to um, create a consistent space in your project. So this is 32. So I'll just duplicate this for over here too, but I want my spacing between um, my sidebar and also the sidebar here to be 32 so instead of using a rectangle here i'll just basically use a frame so this frame is basically where my content is going to be 
So I'm just going to drag this down. So let me give it a different color so that you can see um, that we have a content area there. So I'm giving it this particular color. So this is our content area. We're also um, going to define the grid of this, our particular content area. Remember the content area is near the main content of your dashboard is going to be. So I'm going to create my column grid. So I'm creating my column grid and giving this 12 column grid. I'm giving this um, gutter 24. The gutter is always 24 guys. So I'm making this center. So I'm going to increase this until it laps to this first square. So I will just press my up arrow key to increase it until it laps to this red square. So as you can see, just ensure it laps. So as you can see, it laps this with 58. Let's confirm whether 58 is divisible by 8. So as you can see, 58 is also divisible by 8. So that's basically my grid for this particular dashboard that has to sidebar. So with that, you can define where your contents are going to be. You can decide to arrange your content this way, depending on your um, project and um, goal. So you're going to define your spacing. So as you can see, it works this way, whichever way you want to um, create your content, structure your content, it works. So this is basically how to come up with a grid system for a dashboard that has sidebar. So the last one we're going to cover is for a dashboard that has one sidebar. So let's draw our frame. Remember we're using a 1440 frame. So I'm just going to use the same size of dashboard here. So which is um, 208. So my spacing between my um, sidebar and my content area, I'm going to make use of 40. So let's define that with our red square. So I'll give this 40 for the height and 40 for the width, which is going to define my face. So let me give this a red square. So make it red rather. So I'm going to drag this here, over here. Drag this over here. So this is my spacing between so this is my spacing between my sidebar and my content area. So I'll delete this rectangle and replace it with a frame. So this is where my main content of my dashboard is going to be. So let me give this another color. So let me give this another color. So I'm going to also create my grid. So let me create my grid here. So I'll give this a column grid, make this 12 columns as usual, a gutter of 24, and um, make this, I'll make this center, instead of left, I'll make this center, and I'll use my width and increase it. So I'll basically increase my width till it laps to the red square. So as you can see, it laps to the red square, it's basically 24, and I think 24 is also divisible by it, I mean 74 rather, 74 is also divisible by 8. So that's basically how to create your grid for whichever scenario or for whichever project you are um, working on, whether it's a project that has one sidebar, two sidebar, or just a single sidebar. So guys, don't forget to subscribe to get notified whenever I upload new video. Thank you so much, guys, for watching.